this is Clint Rowland with BK Technologies, here with an introduction to our new VHF radio, the BKR5000. Here you see we've made quite a few changes from the KNG. We added a nice color display, an extra loud speaker. We added textures to our buttons here, so now we have a one, two, three dot, two, and one button, an extra robust push to talk. We added a top display, an ABCD switch to quickly switch between zones, and an oversized emergency switch. Let's go over the radio. When you receive your BKR5000, you'll receive the radio, an antenna, a battery, and a belt clip. Let's go over how to install the antenna first. To install the antenna, mate the antenna end to the radio end and gently screw clockwise. Once the threads are connected, you can screw until it's firm. Don't use tools or over tighten this antenna connection. Once the antenna is installed, we can now install the battery. To install the battery, flip the radio over. Observe there are two rails on the back of the radio. Match those two rails in the back of the radio with the two slots on the battery. Then simply slide the battery up and connect it firmly with the radio. Once we have our battery and antenna connected, we can then connect our belt clip. You'll notice on the back of the radio at the top, there are two slots for the belt clip to slide into. And on the belt clip itself, we have two tabs. So we're gonna match the tab on the belt clip with a tab on the radio, press down to flatten, and slide up. You'll hear a click when the retaining pin is in place. Now the belt clip is installed. We can turn the radio on and we can see the bright color display that comes with our BKR5000 and the new top display that comes with the BKR5000. If for whatever reason you need to uninstall the battery, antenna, or belt clip, follow these steps. To uninstall the belt clip, first, locate the retaining pin on the belt clip. You can see that it is a shiny metallic pin noted here. Use a small tool like a screwdriver to pry that pin up and press down on the belt clip. Once you hear a click, you can then pull the belt clip off and remove the belt clip. To remove the antenna, turn the antenna counterclockwise until it is fully unseated. Do not use tools to do this. To remove the battery, make sure the radio is turned off first. Then, pinch the retaining pins on either side of the battery. Pinch and pull. Available with the BKR5000 is the clamshell battery. The clamshell battery comes in two parts, the housing and the magazine. The clamshell battery can be purchased by itself or additional magazines and carrying pouches can be purchased. Let's begin by attaching our clamshell battery housing to our radio. First, take your BKR5000 and turn it over. You'll notice that there are two rails on the bottom of the radio designed to receive a battery, and we have two slots on our clamshell that match. Once you've lined those rails and slots together, you'll need to pinch the retaining clips on either side of the housing to help seat the clamshell battery onto the radio. Once a firm connection is made, we are ready to load batteries into the magazine. But first, we'll need to remove the magazine from the clamshell housing. To do so, rotate the base of the magazine counterclockwise to unlock. Once it's been unlocked, pinch either side of the clamshell magazine to release and pull. Now that we've released the magazine from the clamshell housing, we can load it with alkaline AA batteries. Ensuring that the positive polarity of the battery is facing upwards and ensuring that I'm using the quick release ribbon inside the magazine, I'm going to load 12 AA batteries. The clamshell battery takes 12 AA batteries to ensure that the radio has a 10% transmit, 10% receive, 80% standby power cycle for 16 hours. Once your magazine is loaded, you can place it in the, pairing, the carrying pouch 
or you can place it inside the clamshell housing. To place it inside the clamshell housing, make sure that the bottom is unlocked and twisted. If the bottom of your magazine is set to lock, it will not seat properly. Insert the magazine into the clamshell until it clicks into place, and then twist the base clockwise to lock it. You're now ready to use your BKR-5000 with the clamshell battery. During extended use, the alkaline batteries in the clamshell can become discharged and need to be replaced. To simply replace, twist to unlock the magazine, pinch either side, and remove the magazine. If you have a spare magazine in your pouch, you can remove it, or you can replace the AA batteries in your magazine. Once done, simply reinsert and lock into place. For storage of your clamshell battery, first remove it from the radio by pinching the pins on either side of the housing. It's recommended to never store your clamshell battery with the AA batteries in it or store your clamshell magazines with the AA batteries in them. First, let's remove our magazine and then using the release ribbons from before, we can release the AA's and they will fall out. Then secure your ribbons. And you're ready for storage.